I am now. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Welcome. Well, before I really start, my dear friends, I have an urgent message, I mean urgent, from one of my guides to, uh, oh my god, I've forgotten the name now. Robbie. Ah, thank you. Little for, to Little Feather. Sorry, Robin. Now, I know you have a lot of difficulties, but Golden Eagle came through and asked me to convey this message to you. First find secluded area within trees, woods, I was shown like a, a forest imagery. Take off your shoes. Feel the earth power come through your feet. Feel the earth regenerate through you. Forget your most dire needs. Feel the love of your creatures. Feel the love of the earth. All will be worked out for you. For there is nothing on this earth that is re for real. And again, you will walk the plains and feel the joy of life. Fear not what others think or say. You are the one that is responsible for your own reaction. So tune in to the earth. Let the earth heal you. This is important. All of us here have sent healing to you and will continue to. Poor little feather, our hearts go out to you, for you are much loved. We never forget, and we won't forget. Golden Eagle has requested this. Take it as, as I've said it. I've translated it back into my own words, for he talks a little bit cryptic, and you might not understand exactly what he's trying to talk to you about. Now let's get back to what we were discussing. You heard about Yesod. Um, I tried to keep the Kabbalah for what it really is. Not the load of mumble-jumble that is passed 
down to you through hundreds of years where they start talking about the Tetrachromaton, they start talking about the Adonai. By the way, the Adonai, was, they don't even know how to pronounce it. So come on, let's get down to what it really is. First, the Kabbalah does not acknowledge physical contact. Um, like, I contact this, I contact this. It doesn't acknowledge that. It only acknowledges spiritual. This is matter. A conglomeration of atoms and neutrons, neurons, all scattered in, into each other. That's all it is. So what is more real? This? Or, or in spirit? When you're dreaming, do you not find what you touch or what you handle within that dream? Do you find it solid? Do you find it a reality? Yes, you do. This would become an unreality. Now in the Kabbalah, this also fits in to the Buddhist teachings, the Hindu teachings of India, the Native American teachings. When you fill your sink with water, Watch the water go out. You will notice that it revolves clockwise. Hmm, very interesting. The earth rotates around the sun clockwise. The whole galaxy rotates. Yeah, you've got it. Clockwise. Why? This is what the ancients have been trying to tell you. What the Native Americans and their teachings have been trying to tell you of the great circle. The circle of life. So we deal with Yesod. But let's go a little bit further than that. Let's go to Tipperith. What is Tipperith? It is very, virtually the spirit of the heart. So what's that convey to you? It conveys to you the spirit of love. Unconditional love. And what does this mean? Oh, well, I can love him, but I can't love him because he, he's not too nice. I don't like him, so I don't love him. But I love him. This is ridiculous. Unconditional love. We're all linked. The poor alcoholic that is homeless with his little uh, shopping cart full of all his worldly goods. Should we love him? What is this word love? Let's break it down. It's sharing and caring. Do you care? Do you share? We're getting near the Christmas season. I hate the word Christmas because it relates to Christ or the Mass of Christ. We're not doing a Mass of Christ, we're doing Yuletide. You know, when, when Christ was born, he was very, very good to us really. He blended in his birth to that of a pagan ritual, Yuletide. Hmm. He blended in his death to that of a pagan Yuletide, Easter. Which I thought was very considerate. This is a man-made religion. There are many man-made religions, even in Wicca and witchcraft. Oh, God is this, God that. Rubbish! You are gods! You are co-creators of this earth. Impossible? No, I don't think so. Because you are spirit. Stop dreaming. I'm waiting for ascension. Bull! Why are you waiting for ascension? This is complete rubbish. This is where you belong. 
There is another plane of existence which runs ten parallel minute, with Ten Earth. minutes have passed. Yeah, okay, thank you. You must remember this. Improve what you got, not run away. There's so many people run away. Well, Adrian has just given me the, told me that I've got to say good, goodbye to this, this particular event. I think this is the fourth in our series, isn't it? Third. The third in our series. And to remind you, on the 19th of this month, I have been given permission to channel one of the masters once again. I thank each and every one of you, all of you, for letting me into your homes and listening to me. My blessings go to each of you. Om Shanti. Namaste.